Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun! Last time, we, uh, oops, we're gonna want to give this back. We died for the very first time in this entire series, and, uh, it's pretty sad. Um, this time, we're gonna go into battle without random Jin on standby, like a fool. Like a fool! And, uh, hopefully things will go much better this time. Wow, I can't believe this guy's giving me so much trouble. Um... I just got back here before starting the episode. Nothing else really happened. Uh, let's use Vine. Defense. We're gonna really want to boost our stats here, apparently. <laughs> uh, and also, we're gonna concentrate on just trying to kill one Griffin. Griffin dog. We already went over the stats of these guys last episode, so I won't bother again this time. Oh, awesome! He fell asleep. That should be very nice. We could buff ourselves up a bit more before having to ooh, attack up. Hmm. Although I don't think these guys normally attack normally. They, I mean, they have a lot of synergy and such and stuff to use, so that would actually be a really good idea to use a synergy seal on them. Uh, if I can remember who has it, which I don't, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, we'll go attack up. Uh, agility up would be nice. And we'll use Sleet. Sleet, Snow, s s something, or Hail, we deliver whatever you're right. Rain, Sleet, Snow, or Hail, we deliver. There we go. That's a weird Animal Crossing quote. And I, whenever I see Sleet, <laughs> it makes me really do it. Oh, I should use Sleet on the other Griffin. I just upped his attack by 54. Oh, well. Ah, oh, he woke up. Chris is foiled again. Also, maybe we should only get to, like, level 3 summons here. Because I don't want to go too far in here. We also give you Kite. Fizz. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea just in case. Mia, is ready for action? I'm going with Mia just because... Uh, doesn't Twin Beak do like 150 damage or something like that? Mia has the potential to die. Tornado! Nah, are you kidding me, Java Update? Sorry, I hate. I, I don't. There's probably a way to turn that off, isn't there? There probably is. You know what? Let's just start using these. Um, I think we should. Uh, if they use Twin Beak, anyone could be dead, though. Oh, yeah, we can go get. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, Spritz. You know what? Let's use Spritz first. I already had forgotten I had done this. And then, because it's going second, we'll use Boreas. Worry Boy Yes. 200. Wow, that's actually quite a bit of damage. How much health do these guys have again? 1100. They should be dead relatively soon. I don't think we're going to have any more issues unless they both use Twin Beak and kill two people, in which case I'll be sad. I always, always, always try to win like boss battles with uh, everyone alive because I feel it's. I don't know, cause, especially because there's like cutscenes after. If someone dies and then they're like okay in a cutscene, it's weird. It just feels like the story's broken, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. And by uh, they're alive in the cutscene, I mean they talk as if, like, you know, they didn't, they weren't knocked out. I guess people don't really die. It's kind of weird. Do, when someone's downed, are they dead? Are they just, you know, just, just kind of hanging out, relaxing, and maxing all cool? I don't know. You know what? Actually, instead of worrying about that, we're just gonna. I mean, it's pretty low on health. Gust. Yeah, you have nothing to heal yourself with. Man, he only has four Jin still. We really need to get you a new Jin, yeah. Actually, is there more people with only one Jin? Ragnarok, 137 death. He's weak to it, though. That's actually pretty good considering he's weak to it. Alright, please no Twin Beacon. Hey, he's dead. Holy crap. I was in a little 19 knight. Maximum HP up by 8, PP by 3, attack by 4, defense by 2, agility by 4. Me is not level 19, Water Seer. HP up by 7, PP by 4, attack by 4, defense by 1, agility by 4, 3,800 coins, and 100% drop from them as a potion. When single potion. And, uh, this room. Like, huh. Shadows, hey? Shadows, hey? I ain't never seen this before. Let's take a quick peek around here. This statue's blocking the way. There's also like these pads, and uh, if you try to go around them, <laughs> they push you around. If you do get around them, they actually push you back out, which is kind of funny. Oh, really? How can I? No. How the heck? You can't get around them. I. Th it does come out and push you. Yeah, like that. If you get like too far in for whatever reason, if you go up here. The same thing. Um. And then the only other path is this way. And once again, there's no way. So. At this point, is when we need to stop. Um, try what you will. Can't use move or anything on these guys. Nothing. Um, we do not ha currently have the ability to continue on in here. So, you may be wondering, we're on an island, how the heck are we going to get here later? 
Well, there is actually a way, and we'll go over that later. Uh, I'll leave that to your own imagination how we might get back here one day. Um, quick travel by boat! Maybe, maybe, who knows? We're gonna use retreat to quickly get out of here, and... I guess it's me and Garrett that are, just don't have the five Jin... Jinny. Let's go back in the boat here. And once you're done exploring, once you, I, I think the only thing that activates this cutscene is if you go to the, uh, if you enter Crossbone Isle, if you leave, you come back. How is it, Isaac? Did you, did you explore thoroughly? How is it, Isaac? Did you explore the island thoroughly? Jeez, man. <laughs> Even when we started it, I still had issues. Well, did you see any monsters out there? No. <laughs> if there are any monsters, then I guess we could let the tourists out. Pajers are going, are going stir crazy. They're out of control. You're going to have to let the Pajers go ashore. There's no need for that. Yeah, we figured out the course to Tolby. That's what the voices should have given them to be with. Really? We can go? Yeah, let's go to Tolby before the sea gets any rougher. Tell our tourists they can enjoy a nice little long break after we arrive. It's too late. Nothing will, nothing we can say will calm them down. If we hurry, we can make it to Colossal in time. Yar. I see. If we get them Colossal, they'll be all happy. All right, then. Go tell the tourists. It's that much farther. I'll ask the oarsmen to work till the very end. Even if they die. Yeah, sorry everyone, but we need to switch to left and right teams. We straight off course because the left team's timing is off. God dang, left team. Wait, wait, the left team? Really? I guess it depends which... It would be left from the player's perspective, right? Because left from my perspective and left from Kaja's perspective are different. One last push should give it to get us there. Give it all you got, people! Yar. Alright, so let's aim for Ptolemy instead of one last time! Bye, Kaja! And for the final time, preparations ready! Ship score is clear! They should all have pirate voices, shouldn't they? Alright, we're off! Roll those auras! That's not the voice. <laughs> so with that, we should finally get there, and hopefully the old man won't die. He had a nice long break, hopefully that'll be good. Come on, you stinking stupid old man. And... Oh, it's taking too long! Uh-oh! Enemies! Uh, we're gonna fight three Krakens now? Uh-oh. <gasps> land ho! Hey, I can see land! So, if you didn't go to Treasure Isle, this would actually be... Um, this would be the exact same cutscene that would play. It looks like we made it! And we'll just skip over the whole, you know, straying off course. You made it? Finally, we're to be alive after all those attacks! <laughs> Look at the steam from his freaking pad! <laughs> I didn't realize that before. That pressure stuff already disembarked. Didn't even say goodbye. You don't have to row anymore? Oh, what a relief. You make an old man row the ship, and then you try to be him ashore? That's pretty pathetic. I'm sorry. I feel so bad for making him row the boat. I'm pretty sure all the setups, you absolutely need to have the old man in order to make it to Crossbone Isle, though. I call it Treasure Island before, but whatever. Thanks for all your hard work, matey. The efforts got the ship to so shore, so so shore, shore. I thank ye again. Hurry, everyone. Close. It was already underway in Tolby. Gonna get moving too, to Tolby two to to Tolby two two two. And there we go. We're finally here. Um, this is. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is my favorite part of the game. I enjoy this a lot. I enjoy the whole ship scene. It's really fun. Looking for Sean and Orinus. They left for Tolby with that tour. I figured they're heading for Colossal. I want Sean and Orinus to do well this year. We don't stand a chance of eyes against the contest. Ha ha! Yeah, he knows. He knows the drill. Hopefully, we can enter. Are you for Colossal too? I thought so. Most people come at this time usually are. There is this group of six we ferried across a while back. Other oh, a while back. Oh, that six gotta be Satorius and Co. That's probably not good. A group that came on our last voyage pulled some strange stunts. Actually, I was sort of spying on them. Where you? Any other info? I don't know what happened to the strange group that went on to Tolby. Oops. Came all this way, not got a Colossal? That old guy's group. Those six weirdos, now you. You guys are strange. Old guy, it's gonna be Crane, so. Crane's still kicking, I guess. He's still alive. I was gonna hail until we enjoy myself for a while. Uh, do I wanna talk to anyone else here? 
I'll talk to you. Um. All right. Oh, he's gone. He's not up here anymore. Ah, well, as I say, we should get one last look at the beautiful ocean. Cause I think that just seems really uh, cool. Did you just stay here forever? It's good the ship has arrived safely. We made the closet this time. I wouldn't say safely. Did you not see all that stuff that had happened? Felix really fought well. I'm just glad the Kraken didn't hurt me. <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't think we'll be crossing Caragol for a while. The oarsmen won't work for a while. Yeah, we can't find anyone to place our old oarsmen. That's probably good. So yeah, that's the thing. This ship actually stays here forever. You cannot ferry back across. Uh, a lot of oarsmen were in general voyage. Nobody's going to want to row until things calm down. So yeah, all these people say roughly the same thing. I'm going ahead, just want to look like everything was alright. My back went out, now I can't move. <laughs> Ripperoni. Is anyone else I'll talk to down here? Mm, no. Should be it. We'll go talk to the captain, then we'll disembark. Finally, after all these years. After all these years, just some begging going on. That's probably big one, Mike. I apologize. When the waters are as dangerous, you just can't take to the seas. I think I'll check out Colossal. So we'll think about what we do next. See, I ship I survived an attack and see across the sea. It just proves how effective that looking girl is. Ah, oh, this idiot. It was all me. If it wasn't for me, you'd all be dead. Maybe. I wonder if, like, Satoris and all of them, like, also protected the ship then. Hmm, did they protect the oarsmen? Oh, I should talk to them first. Hey, you had a scary ship. You even got attacked by a monster. Pfft, hey, monster. I wonder why the sea is so dangerous all of a sudden. <laughs> Might be my doing. Uh, I guess we won't be seeing anyone back home in Angara for a while. Yep. Uh, I don't think there's any. Oops. I forgot I was using catch last episode. I don't think there's anything here. Right, um, Kaylee Bound, Kaja, Blue Bandana, Box Top Right on Dock. Oh, there's the thing. <laughs> I could just look at the screen instead of look at my notes. 35 going. Um, okay. <sighs> I think we're done sailing for a while. We've already lost one ship. What else can we do? So, yeah, the other ship just straight up sank. That's pretty sad. Oops, I went to mine region. I think that missing ship might have run into that crack, and yep. Everybody die. Ripperoni pepperoni. Sicko rolled his block, so I thought my parents might come by ship. I don't see them anywhere, though. What's that? You have a message from my parents? Okay, if you didn't actually talk to the mom, and you went to talk to her, she would just... The sentence would end there. It'd be right before she says, What's that? You have a message from my parents? Yes. No, they couldn't make it because the tickets were too expensive? Thank you for letting me know. It was a hard crossing. Very risky. I'm glad they didn't come. Yay! So, I actually didn't talk to our parents in my test playthrough. I did, and then I reset for whatever reason. I don't remember why. Um, the tourists look a little accepted. they get seasick? Yes, definitely. Sea was calm, but the monster sure gave him a rough What? You already knew about the monsters, and why are you asking me, silly goose? Here until we keep heading west. It's not far. It's been quite some time since the colossal tour passengers left for Tolby. Not really, I just got here. Aha! Uh -huh. But how did we get too tired? Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure when I was a kid. I, did, I couldn't figure out this puzzle for whatever reason, even though it's, you know, <laughs> pretty obvious. Just gotta use move a bunch. There we go. One waiting for all the bangs to subside later. Wow, I only messed it up, but I also bit my lip where I currently have a canker sore because I keep biting my lip. I gotta push it! There we go. Alright, uh, last thing before we head in here, or head to Tolby. There's some stuff going on over here. Anything in here? I don't think so. I don't think this contains any novel. Nope. I don't think there's ever an instance of this game where these, like, these bookshelves here, like, these kind contain anything. Like, those bookshelves behind the lady there always contain stuff, but these ones don't. Rinse it out, the hearth for Crasso, and now the ship's not launching. If the ship isn't crossing, we can't take a trip. Rent our house. If the ship would sail, where will we sleep? Oh, wow. Are we supposed to sleep on the floor to this hotel again? I actually know what house they're talking about. I never actually would have connected that if I didn't just play this the other day. Maybe we, we'll stay here until the ship leaves. What if we talk to you? I'm oh, sorry, we can't sell any tickets right now. The sea is too dangerous. We've had to cancel all crossings. Sigh, I could have made a lot of money in those tickets. Bad luck, guys. What's with everyone just like concerned about nothing but money, money, money? Money, 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 money. I don't think there's anything here, right? No. All right, that should be everything. Wait a minute. We can't check these jars, right? No. Oh, we can! No way! Huh. I like how there's corks on them. That was weird. Anyways. I thought the fun would do. See those boxes were set. Uh, to Tolby we go. Thankfully, it's right here. Um, there is a new Jin we could get, however. Let's go do that first, shall we? 
Uh, now that we're here, this is actually a new section of the world map, meaning that there's new enemies here. Uh, there's rabbit bats, which you've already seen before, and the rest, there's uh, quite a few new things we could find. Um, oh my god, for a second I thought that was a gin, because we couldn't see him at first. We just got two little short guys. So we got a gnome mage and a foul dirge. Foul dirge. Uh, okay, no mage, they're level 18, they have 162 health, uh, they drop 126 gold and 86 experience points, they have a 6.25% chance of dropping crystal powder, they can use fireball, flash bolt, and delude, which causes, um, delusion, as you would probably imagine. Uh, what else do we follow? Dirge? Dirges? Foul dirge? Foul dirge. <laughs> they have, they're level 18, they have 149 hit points, they're, they drop 100 gold and 82 experience points, they have a 3.125% chance of dropping a smoke bomb, sorry, I'm trying to remember, where go here? Yeah, it's this way. Um, actually, we probably shouldn't go this way first, but that's okay. Okay, good, another one of these guys. Uh, drop 100 gold, 82 experience points, uh, 3.125% chance of dropping a smoke bomb, they can use swift strike, which hurts. And uh, they have a ch with Swift Strike, they have a chance to do triple damage. That's spoopy. Ooh, what an area is that? Oh man. Ah, oh, and Mad Mullows, okay. Something this would be the Jin. <laughs> this Jin, I'm pretty sure. Jinny, I should say. Sorry. I'm, Jin is the plural, Jinny is the, the singular. I'm, I always get that mixed up. Uh, these Mad Mullows, uh, they. Yeah, they're level 18, they have 156 hit points. They drop 88 gold and 71 experience points. They can use worms, which heals themselves. Um, as we saw there. No level up. I thought maybe we level up there for some reason. Okay, this is the way towards the gin, I believe. Um, they have a 3.125% chance of dropping a bramble seed. They can use mad splatter, which causes delusion. There we go. And yeah, that's the only other thing besides eating worms and attacking. Um, Alright. Well, there's no attack gin left. Okay, we're just gonna summon rush this guy. Apparently, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Wow, there's only like two attack gen per person. That's kind of annoying, to be honest. Uh, Mercury Jin. Um, he has 466 hit points. I cannot find a level from him, unfortunately. He drops 340 gold, 279 experience. Uh, he, can, he has the ability to use Tundra, Drench, Froth Spear, Ice Horn, Hail Prism, and the chance to flee. Hopefully, he won't flee. Thankfully, the Jin on uh, the Jinny on the there we go. The Jinny on the um, world map are actually pretty easy to deal with because if they flee, you just gotta run around again until you, you run into them again, which can sometimes be a pain, but for the most part, it's not bad. Ooh, he's still alive! Wow, so we had fire did the most damage to him. You don't really see that a whole lot, or fire will do the most damage to a uh, Mercurian. We haven't used some of these attacks yet. I don't think we used tornado, so let's start using some of these. Been forgetting to do that. Tornado, we haven't seen that, so that's that. We have seen other people use it. The flare wall, we have not seen. And there we go! With that, we get the Mercury Ginny Hail! I'm gonna just immediately give that to Mia. Freeze the foe to drop his defense. Awesome. Um, so, Hail ha gives a plus nine hit points bonus, plus four attack, plus one luck. And yeah, when you use it on an enemy, it drops their defense by 25%. And you guys are not the last enemy. There's one more enemy here we can see, I believe. Yes, there is. Just have to confirm my, my, my guess here. After that, we all have seen all the enemies. We can start skipping battles. <laughs> Apparently, there's a debate. I was looking up after I died last ep No, two ep what? Maybe it was episode. I forget already. <laughs> I was looking... To see, oh crap, which way do I want to go? I think it's down. Yeah, there's a bridge over here. Um, I was looking to see like if you lose any coins or anything we die, because if you did, I was just going to reset and make back all the progress that I lost, but no. The only thing that you lose really is um, you have to spend some coins to get Frostbite. Haven't seen that yet? I hope so. You guys are normally attacking. I don't know if you've seen all the... Uh... Wow! Holy crap! Oh, I remember besides Garrett had like either um, their own leash or just the uh, critical. I haven't seen Flare Wall yet either. I gotta do that. I have to do that. I keep forgetting to do that. It's not good. So, here we are. Told me. This is probably my. Well, I said that last time. Dude. I was gonna say it's my favorite town, but no, it's not. <laughs> uh, this is actually something I was talking about last episode. I was a little bit worried about 100%ing. 
And yep, yeah, this is this is it right here, actually. Let's find this guy real quick. I keep losing coins, but I just can't stop. What's wrong with me? Hmm? Do you wish to try your luck at the Toby Spring? Really? Well then, I'll give you a chance to go first. First of all, talk to this guy. Toby's always uh, always really bustling during Colossal. The festival only happens once a year, so I'm really excited. Tourists aren't the only ones who love Colossal, it's the best! So you read these signs here for No, you're not you're not sign. And interestingly enough, the signs make talking noises. I don't know if this is like Isaac reading these or what, but it's, it's weird. Face wave on Toby Spring and tell us Queen anyway. If you get lucky, something good will happen. And the same thing. Oops. Well. Saw the signs there, you could have read them for there too. Toss a lucky medal, you get really lucky, you'll get a better prize than you would with a coin. Talk to these guys here, I think it's give you tips. Toby Springs has a mischievous power. Stand with your back to the spring and throw coin at the target. Oh god, god lord. There's not a lot of moving space here. As one might assume. You have a lucky medal? I sure do. Oh, you do how lucky! <laughs> that means you'll get extra. If you say no to him, you'd think maybe he'd give you a lucky medal, but no. Uh, if if you're gonna try my luck, I don't want to use the lucky metal. So this is actually where you use all the lucky metals in this game. Do I only have one lucky metal? I don't want to risk losing if I miss, so I still have one. Give me it! This lucky metal should be okay if I miss by a little bit. What luck I can get? Uh, we're at 21 minutes. You know what? I'll leave the suspense waiting. This is- you can get a lot of cool stuff from here. A lot of cool stuff. But, I'm gonna explain it next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving likes and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, I never finished my death conversation. Um, it would have been much smarter for me instead of, you know, reviving everyone with uh, the healer there if I just used Jin, uh, uh, put the Jinny on Isaac since, you know, he has. Oops, I did not want to do that. I press A to open my menu. I don't want to do anything. Since, you know, Isaac has revived. I really should have just shown you guys once what it does and then just. You know, revive Isaac. Oh well. Anyways, next episode, we will try our luck at the Lucky Spring of Toby. Talk to you guys next time. Bye bye!